Hi guys, welcome to my podcast. Um, I'm Nicole and I'm the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. Today I am starting by showing you this beautiful tank that I showed you the finished project of last week, but I wanted to show it to you on. This is the Timberwood tank from Knits and Knots. Um, you can find her on Instagram and she is fantastic. I have her book, Modern Crochet Sweaters too, which I haven't tried anything out of. But she did this kit with Lion Brand and it was adorable and I wanted to try it and I did. I made mine a little bit cropped as you can see here um, and I have already worn it once. Um, if you are following me on Insta, you've seen these pictures that we took in Port Huron last weekend. It was a beautiful day. This was the perfect thing to wear and I have a feeling I will be reaching for this tank over and over again this summer because it's just... It's great. It goes over everything and on everything. Um, so I absolutely love it. And I know that a lot of y'all were excited to see it too. So I wanted to throw it on today. Plus it's hot. <laughs> so it's, it's an easy thing to throw on. Um, and like I said, this is the Timberwood tank. She did a kit with Lion Brand. It might still be on there. And it uses Lion Brand um, Superwash Merino Wool. It's a DK weight. Um, but if you wanted to use another type of DK, you certainly could do it. I also went up a hook size. I think it calls for an F size hook and I used a um, I used a G and that just helped me see the stitches a little bit more easily. Um, but I absolutely love it. So I've got a lot of projects to show you out this week. One of which I also showed you last week. This beautiful shawl that I finished last week. I think I had just pulled it off of the blocking mats when I showed it to you. Um, but this is it again, and the reason why I wanted to show it to you today is because I just released this pattern yesterday, um, and it is called the X Factor Shawlette. Um, so that just means that it's a smaller shawl, um, more likely to be worn as a triangle scarf or bandana cowl, and it is super beginner friendly, and yet it still has a bunch of uh, variations in these stitches. And I used a very loud yarn to show off these different stitches, but this would also look amazing in a neutral and a solid color. And it uses just one skein of figuring weight yarn. Um, and like I said, it's absolutely wonderful. And it's called the X Factor Shawlette because it's got these cute little crisscross X, X stitches in there. Um, I really like the way that this stitch pattern worked up right here. So I'm thinking about making a couple of other items with it. Um, this was something that, as I was having trouble falling asleep the other night, my mind went in a million different directions on how to use this particular stitch pattern. Um, maybe in a garment. I've got a couple of garment pattern ideas. Um, one a pullover sweater and one a cardigan. But this would also be cute as like a summer, summery top. Um, and then I've also thought about it as maybe a table runner um or like a very delicate baby blanket i don't know i have a lot of ideas for the stitch pattern because i really liked the way that it worked up in a linen stitch which is probably my favorite basic solid foundation stitch um, linen stitch and half double crochet all the way are, are my faves but this pattern is out you can find it on ravelry and etsy and it's called the x factor shawlette you can find it by me yarn craft by nicole aka nicole michael Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you, well, I've got a couple of other finished objects that I'm gonna show you. The next one was another one that several of y'all were very excited to see, and that is my garden trellis cardigan. Um, I think last week it was almost done. I think maybe there was one <laughs> sleeve left, but it is completely finished now. It was one of those patterns that once you got going, like you just wanted to keep going. And I absolutely love it. I actually wore this out to dinner last night. Took some really cute pictures. Um, shout out to the hubs for always being <laughs> down to take cute pictures. Um, and those are on my Insta today. If you wanted to see kind of how this fits, what it looks like on, I'll probably wear it in the next a video or um, in the next few videos. Um, but it just came out really well. And I love it. I used Relax by Big Twist. Um, for the yarn and I will use that yarn over and over again. It was an acrylic um, cotton blend yarn. It's categorized as a sport weight, which is a weight to yarn, but I would say it works up more like a DK. Um, 
but I will buy that yarn again. Like it just, it feels lovely. It works up beautifully. The colors are great. And I was able to find it on my local Joann's. So very happy with this, very proud of this. I will also be living in this this summer. Also like it could totally be cute. Let's just see guys. Could totally be cute with this tank underneath it. I was thinking it would be cute with my mama seat atop. Oh yeah, like that's cute. Crochet on crochet, absolutely. Um, my mama seat atop also has some ribbing like this. I wore it in my very first video and it's this deep purple color. Um, so I thought it would be cute over that, but it's totally cute over this too. And the thing about this particular one, um, my version of the garden trellis cardigan is that it has pretty much all of the colors. So you can throw it on anything and it looks great. I also threw it over a denim dress um, when I was trying it on for a fit check and it looked really good over that too. So look out for this pattern. I will let y'all know when this pattern drops. It's currently in testing and it's called the garden trellis cardigan from Haley Handcrafted on Instagram. Her name is Haley Herman. She's got a lot of very recipe style patterns. I love testing for her. She's fantastic. Um, and she's dropping a cardigan that's uh, like an open work cardigan. It's also per perfect for summer called the Lanai Lounger. I think that drops the end of this week. So if you haven't checked her out, check her out. She's fantastic. All right, guys, I specifically have not put this in the mail yet for my bestie because I wanted to show it to y'all here. And that is another Haley handcrafted pattern, the Pebbled Path Cardigan. Guys, it's all done. It has two sleeves, it has pockets. And let me tell ya, I was so proud of the pockets on this one because the one that I did first, I think I made my pockets too narrow, um, but this has good size pockets and I just lined everything up perfectly. I was so proud of myself. Um, but this is the Pebbled Path cardigan. Look at it. From Haley Handcrafted, AKA Haley Herman. I used Cot Lynn for this cardigan. Um, it's for someone who lives in Georgia. She wanted something lightweight that she could throw in the wash. And this is perfect for that. So I'll be sending that off to her this week. She has also promised me pictures. So you can check those out on Instagram as well when she sends them to me. Um, and it's just, it came out so cute. And you'll see another one of these in the making soon because my sister has also requested one and my sister-in-law has. So I have a feeling I'll be making lots of pebbled path cardigans this year, but it came out so well. I love these stitches. They just, oh, it just is so cute. I'm so happy. Okay, now on to the whips. I've got a couple of good ones here for you. The first one is my, and I don't think I showed it to you last week, is my garden party shawl that I'm working on as part of um, TL Yarn Crafts Yarn Love for 2022. Um, I wanted to pick a TL Yarn Craft pattern and um, really liked this one, had my eye on this one for a while and making it in the brightest pink possible. And it's going along very well. Um, it is, a lot of the granny stitch worked in a triangle and I'm using Malabrigo for the hot pink and Stitch Together Studio for the light pink with speckles. It's about to have another row of this, like another one of these panels. And then I'm relatively close ish. We'll see. I also might make it a smidge smaller than what is called for because I, it is such a lightweight yarn that I don't really want to make it so big that I can only wear it in the winter because it's a lighter weight yarn. Like I don't, I don't think I will wear a lighter weight yarn ten in the winter, but I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the way it works up. Also how cute is the hot pink with this marmalade color? Clearly I need to like pop on some lipstick with this top next time I wear it, but I love it. It's called the garden party shawl. Um, my goal is to have it finished by the end of June. I think I totally can now that I have finished some other big projects. Um, and I really only have like three or four going right now, but that will probably change <laughs> as more ideas come into my brain. And the next one I want to show you has gotten a lot of work done on it. And honestly, we'll probably be finished by the time I see you next time. And that is the Very Vero V-neck from Knitting Tipsy. Um, her name is Chelsea. And the last time I showed it to you, 
I was making an extra large. I actually went it up in size down to a large and remade this panel because it was a little bit too big. I think my gauge was off, like my, my stitches were just a little bit too big. Um, so I'm remaking it, but this is the back panel. I've already finished the first panel. Let me show it to you. Boop. Um, and I psh, love it. Um, it has this v-neck that you can make as deep or as shallow as you would like. I made mine a little bit shallower because I knew that this yarn, which is Kobu from Line Brand, um, I knew that this yarn would drape a decent amount because it is a cotton. And a lot of times when you make something in a cotton, like it just drapes a little bit, gets a little heavy. And uh, so I made my v-neck a little shallower knowing that once I wear it, um, it will drape a little bit more. And then it's gonna be a little bit off the shoulder. So it'll be seamed right about there. Um, I'm making the back panel, which is the same as the front panel. And then I'll make sleeves. And then there's this adorable like bobble feature at the bottom, which I'm very excited about. So this will probably be done because um, the back panel is almost finished. This will probably be done by the time you see me next. In fact, you might see me wearing this next week, but I'm loving it. It is a great pattern and it was, done in so many different varieties. Um, if you haven't started following Knitting Tipsy or if you haven't checked out her account and so you totally should. Um, people have made it in a variety of colors. Some people have made it solid. Some people have made it in three, four tons of colors. Um, some have made short sleeves. Some have made these beautiful bell long sleeves. And she actually is working on a matching skirt to go with it and then also a dress version. So go check all of that out because it's fantastic but I'm really loving mine and have already like planned in my head the pictures I want to take with it once I'm done but it is it is coming along quite well and then the last thing I want to show you is something that I started yesterday and I'm just in love with the idea now and that is this cute corner to corner square this is actually a um, corner to corner design from Eclair Makery. She did a kit with a lion brand called the Amelia Quilt, which has squares like this. Um, I have the like the PDF grid of it that she um, was letting people download for free as part of a blog hop last year. But um, I ended up shrinking mine a little bit down from hers. And then I'm gonna use leftover worsted weight yarn to make a ton of these and a bunch of colors and then stitch them together and make a quilt. So I am really excited about this. Um, this is the first one that I made and I'm just pumped. But if you like this pattern, I like it because it looks kind of like a quilt that you might see at a, um, like a state fair or something like that. My mom did a ton of quilting and still does um, growing up. So I, this is just very nostalgic for me. If you like this pattern, she's got it, um, I think on Ravelry. For just the pattern and it's called the Amelia quilt and then she also I think still has a kit with line brand um, where you can make your own I think it has nine squares but the squares are a little bit bigger than this um, I think they're about that big <laughs> um, where you can make your own and the color options are really great so it's the Amelia quilt I shrunk my squares down a little bit um, to match the amount of yarn I wanted to use but um, this is one of Eclair Makery's designs. So those are my current finished objects and whips. Really happy with those. I've got some ideas for some other things I wanna write this year. I'll probably still be doing some smaller projects here um, in the next few weeks as um, we're be traveling and doing a lot of other things. But um, I do have several garment ideas in my head once I feel brave enough to figure out how to grade a pattern for a bunch of sizes. Um, so the next little segment we're going to talk about is yarn love. And I'm going to be very brief with this because I have ordered some really amazing yarn um, as part of collections from incredible yarn dyers. But there's still several weeks out and I haven't bought new yarn because I've got to get through some of my stash and some of my other projects. So I don't think I've shown you this one yet. So I wanted to take the time now. Um, this is from Knitterly Things and it's a Vesper sock yarn, um, superwash merino, and it's a self-striping yarn designed to make socks. And these are the colors of Michigan, um, which is where my husband goes for college right now for his MBA. 
and I knew I needed to have this. I bought this at my local yarn store and it's great and I haven't used it yet because I don't know what it wants to be because it really wants to be something that I can wear on game days and I just haven't figured that out yet. So it might become another like easy mesh scarf. I might just knit a simple scarf, a scarf um, with the garter stitch because that's pretty much what I know how to knit. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. This will not become socks because A, I have too many pairs of socks and B, I don't know how to knit socks. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think that should become. And guys, that's what has been going on this week. That's what's going on this week in this yarn chatty world. Um, so I will leave you with what I can't let go of. And what I can't let go of this week is my parents got a new puppy and she's so cute. And they already have one puppy who's like maybe six months old and they're both mini dachshunds and they brought home the new puppy yesterday and she is just adorable and just seeing them interact, oh, it's too cute. And yeah, I've gotten tons of pictures and videos of these amazing pups and that's what I can't let go of this week. I hope that you have a restful week this week and that you have some time to do what you, um, what brings you joy and I will see you back here next time. Bye guys.